episode of Saturday Night Horror. Now before we get started, the reason I'm wearing this shirt is because I am now officially two years cancer free. Two years in remission, so I'm celebrating. Screw you cancer. <laughs> but man, tonight's episode of Saturday Night Horror, I think it's going to be a fun night. Tonight we're going to be watching, in my opinion, one of the greatest remakes, one of the best horror remakes ever made. And one of my personal favorite horror movies of all time, or one of my favorite movies of all time in general. Tonight, we're going to be watching the 1988 remake of The Blob. Now this movie, the first time I saw it was on late night TV. You know, I couldn't sleep, so I'm laying in bed, flipping through the channels. And I came upon a scene where this big pink blob was going through the city and it trapped a woman in a phone booth and absorbed her and I was like, oh, that looks pretty cool. Ended up watching it, liked what I saw, found out it was the blob, watched it from the beginning, and I've loved it ever since, man. It's been one of my all-time favorite movies. So I'm definitely, definitely excited about watching the blob tonight. Also, cooking, we are back in the kitchen, so everyone who watches for the cooking, you're in luck. I got you this week. <laughs> I'm going to be making burgers this week. I'm hoping they don't fall apart like all my burgers usually do. I have a burger, a brand new burger press. Can't wait to try it out. So hopefully these burgers turn out great. So our movie, the 1988 remake of The Blob. In the kitchen, we're making burgers. I think it's going to be an awesome night, man. I can't wait to get started. So let's go out in the kitchen. Let's get these burgers cooked. And let's watch our movie. I'll see you out there. Let's go out to the kitchen. Let's go out to the kitchen. Let's go out to the kitchen and have ourselves a snack. All right, everyone, here are our ingredients for our burgers. I'm going to have some more stuff out here to put on the burger, but our main ingredients black pepper, oregano leaves, of course, our meat, and the buns. So, not a whole lot. Should be pretty simple, and I finally get to use my burger press. Heck yeah, dude. Alright, so the one piece of meat, I usually cut it into four pieces to make four patties. And I can't tell you how excited I am to finally be able to use my burger press. Brand new burger press just came in the mail. But yeah. Alright, we'll just cut these. Like so. Alright. Alright, so we got our first uh, piece of meat here. And here we go, burger press. Let's see what happens. And we'll just press this down like so. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh we got juice. Oh, well, I was not expecting that. But yeah, look at that, man. Look at that. Alright. Got our second piece of meat. I put paper towels down. <laughs> Maybe it won't be as messy this time. Alright, number two, we still got juice. Okay, so apparently we won't have juice when we use this thing, but now I know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, so we got all four patties. They have not fallen apart yet, which is already an improvement over my last burger adventure. And I've got a little bit of vegetable oil in this pan here. And the reason I put the oil in is because I want to keep these uh, patties from sticking to the pan. So hopefully the oil does the trick. Alright, the oil has been heating up. You can see it's sizzling a little. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it's sizzling a little bit. And we're going to put these patties in here. Hopefully they don't fall apart because you know me. Every single time I've made burgers on Saturday Night Horror, the patties have fallen apart. But so far, so good, man. I really, really like that burger press. I like how, how these burgers patties turned out on that burger press. Something so simple, yet so awesome. <laughs> Alright, one more to go. And if you're wondering why I'm not doing this on a grill, I don't have a grill, so this is how I have to make my burgers. Uh, we work with what we have, folks, and we have fun doing it. Alright, so they've been cooking a little while. Uh, not ready to flip over yet, but yeah, I, I really like how they turned out using that burger press. 
And so I'm just going to add some black pepper here on these ta. Oh yeah. Now what I should have done, I should have added these spices in with the meat before I made the patties. I should have just mixed, put them in the meat and mixed it all into one, one big uh, mixture of meat and sp spices and then made patties. But, you know, whatever. This will work. <laughs> So I'm only going to put oregano on the top two because those are the two that I'm going to have. And I want oregano on mine. So yeah, we'll let these cook uh, a little bit longer and they'll be ready to flip shortly. Alright, so they're still cooking now. Not quite, I'm not ready to flip them yet. Let me just mix that oil around. I think I may have used a little too much oil. I think next time I won't use as much oil. Um, yeah, it's popping up and burning the hands. Alright, so these have been going. I've had them here for about 15 minutes now, and I like my I like my burgers and meat in general well done. So it's time to flip them. Yeah, I like them well done. If there's any pink in there, people say, oh, it's medium rare, it's rare. No, that's raw. It's not cooked, and I hate that. I absolutely hate that. It's like I hate watching cooking shows when they make these uh, meat, when they make meat, and it's pink in the middle, and they talk about how great it is. Like, no. That mess ain't cooked, man. <laughs> so I like mine. Well done. So we're going to cook this all the way through. Not a touch of pink to be found when they're done. So yeah, that looks good, man. They did not break apart when I flipped them. Heck yeah, dude. First time ever on Saturday Night Horror, we flipped burgers and they stayed intact. <laughs> so already we're making progress. I'm going to put a little bit more black pepper on the top here. I don't know why, but I am. Uh, now that I've done it, it seems kind of stupid, but you know, it is what it is. All right, we'll let these cook for a while, and we'll move on. All right, so as you can see on the bottom burgers, the ones that I'm not eating, we have some sautéed mushrooms, which this, and we're gonna put the cheese up there. Ah, that hot oil, man. Oh man. Oh, get up there. Alright. So yeah, on mine, the top two, I've got my oregano, I've got my black pepper, and we'll just put the cheese up there. Yeah, definitely uh, not using this much oil next time. <laughs> you live and learn. Alright, so let's, uh, yeah. Alright, so the cheese is up there now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a lid on this pan and it doesn't take long for the cheese to melt at all especially since the lid is on it and the heat is trapped and has nowhere to go so they're almost done folks alright it's been long enough I've taken it off the hot burner oh yeah I think I may have waited a little too long for the cheese but here they are yes sir look at that now it's time to add our condiments now I'm a simple man when it comes to my burgers I like ketchup, I like mustard, lettuce, and if I have any, uh, chili and bacon. Bacon chili cheeseburgers. I do not have chili and bacon. So we're going with the classics. Ketchup, a little bit of mustard, oh yeah. And the one ingredient you must have if you're not having bacon chili cheeseburgers is lettuce. Do not skimp on the lettuce, folks. Be generous with the lettuce. Be very, very, very extremely generous with the lettuce. Now, this is not iceberg lettuce. This is romaine lettuce. It was already cut up, so I went ahead and just grabbed some of that. Now, I'll put a little bit more. Yeah, definitely more, man. Got to have more. All right, there we go that is it look at that those are two beautiful burgers dude heck yeah man that's gonna be some good eating right there I'm really happy with how that burger press worked I'm, re I'm really pleased these are the best burgers I've ever made on Saturday Night Horror they're intact they're in one piece <laughs> alright we don't have any more coca colas on Saturday Night Horror but we are going to continue the tradition of the mandatory 
Jurassic Park movie poster shot. There it is in all of its glory. My 11th birthday present was going to see Jurassic Park at the movie theater. And you know, since we're out here, since we don't have Cokes, let's take a look at all the movie posters we have, or most of them anyway. Jurassic World, Batman vs. Superman. Uh, I don't know why I put a burger up there. Nakamura hitting AJ Styles in the balls. I thought it was funny. Up here, we have Super Mario 3 The Water World, my favorite level. We have Resident Evil 2 Remake. Let's go over here, we have Tomb Raider. Zelda Breath of the Wild. I know we're getting off track, but we'll be back in the uh, house shortly. Just a beautiful mountain scene, scene from WrestleMania 29. Jason Takes Manhattan, my favorite horror movie of all time. The first horror movie I ever watched. And just some uh, random pictures here. Dead Space, Forza Horizon, Spider-Man, my truck on the left or on the right, a DeLorean, my dream car, and the Super Mario World Overworld map. Yes, sir. And of course, being in North Carolina, I'm a huge Carolina Panthers fan. Alright, enough of the garage. Let's go back in the house and get this movie started. Alright, so I come back in the house and I see baby Bella up here on the counter waiting for me. Hey, Bella. Hey, baby Bella. This is my good girl. <laughs> Alright, everyone, we got our food. We said hi to baby Bella. And here we go. All the lights in the house are off now. We are in total darkness, as we should be. And we're getting ready to watch one of my favorite horror movies of all time. The Blob Remake. This is going to be an awesome night. Alright everyone, the movie is over and it was awesome, man. It, I, I gotta say, this is one of the more fun nights I've had here on Saturday Night Horror. I haven't had this much fun on Saturday Night Horror in a few weeks, so this was awesome, man. Uh, when it comes to the burgers, I would definitely use less grease, or lord, I said grease, less oil next time. I think I used a little bit too much vegetable oil, but that's okay. They turned out great, and for once, they did not fall apart, which is freaking awesome. Best burgers I've ever made. <laughs> but the movie, the movie is awesome. As I said at the beginning of this video, I absolutely love this movie. And I love the setting where it takes place. It's this small town, very low populated town, in a valley surrounded by mountains. I love that setting, man. I, I absolutely love it. And the fact that this killer blob is wreaking havoc on this small town in the middle of a valley, it's awesome. I mean, what, what, what can you not like about that? <laughs> I also did like how the, uh, they had the practical effects going here, which, oh my, oh man. When the people were being dissolved and melted by the blob, and then you see the aftermath of the people who were attacked by the blob but not completely absorbed, the practical effects were awesome, man. Uh, some gory stuff here, but not over the top to me. And I thought it was great, man. I absolutely loved it. Some of the kills in this movie were awesome as well. We had people getting absorbed into the blob, and then it's kind of like acid. They were slowly dissolved and just skin melting off their face. My favorite kill in this movie, though, had to be the, go <laughs> the poor guy who got dragged through a kitchen sink drain. He was washing dishes, the sink was clogged, so he tried to unclog it, and the blob came up through the drain, grabbed him, and pulled him down the drain, and it's, uh, it's as messy and as absurd as it sounds. It was awesome, man. I loved it. You, <laughs> you, you see him getting sucked in, and then they cut to a scene where it's just all that's left are his legs, and they're twisted and contorted, and oh, oh my god, it was freaking awesome. I absolutely loved it. The cast in this movie was actually not bad. Now, usually when I watch a horror movie, I really don't care about the cast. I absolutely hate them, and I can't wait for them to meet their fates in as gruesome a way as possible. That wasn't like that in this movie. I actually liked some of the characters in this movie. Our main character, Billy. Uh, we had the girl played by Shawnee Smith. Uh, I liked them. I, I, was, I was rooting for them. I was hoping they survived. One of the rare horror movies where the cast was actually likable to me. And that, that, that is very rare for me if you've seen any other episode of Saturday Night Horror. I usually do not like the cast, but I like this cast. 
I was wanting to see a sequel to this one just to see how the town is doing after all the events or maybe we can get they, they kind of set it up to where there could be a sequel if he really wanted to do it with the way they got rid of the blob like it's gone but you have to keep those circumstances going and I don't, I don't want to ruin it that's why I'm not going into further detail you have to keep those circumstances going to keep the blob from coming back and I always wanted to see a sequel in this same town where those circumstances kind of get stopped and the blob does come back. I always wanted to see what would happen, like maybe 20 years down the road, see how these people are doing now. But all in all, this movie's awesome, man. From the from the movie, the plot, the effects, even the soundtrack, the ending credit, the end credits music is freaking awesome too. I don't have a bad thing to say about this movie. The Blob 1988 remake is just freaking awesome. Not a bad thing to say about it at all. It's always a good time. When you watch it, you're going to have fun with it. It's going to put you in a good state of mind. It's going to put you in a good place. It's just fun, man. It's fun, and it's still got the gore for horror freaks out there. If you, if you like gore in your movies, it's got that. If you like kind of a little bit of campiness and cheese, it's got that too. It's one of those movies where it doesn't take itself too seriously, and that always works out great. So... I, I can't say enough good things about it. So definitely check out the blog. With that being said, I think that's going to do it, man. Kind of a short review. But like I said, uh, the bottom line is it's great. I, I don't have anything bad to say about it. I, I really don't. And I, I could you know, go on and on about how good it is, but definitely check it out for yourself. If for some reason you have not seen the blog, 1988 remake, Please do yourself a favor and watch this. You will not be disappointed. This movie is well worth your time. Well worth the effort in trying to get. It's not hard to get now. It's out on Blu-ray for 20 bucks on Amazon. Definitely check it out. You won't be disappointed. So with that being said, I appreciate y'all watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will try to be in the kitchen every week consistently. Um, I, I can't 100% promise you that, but I will try my best. So thank you for watching, everyone. I appreciate it. hope you enjoyed it. Please check out the blog, and I'll see you on the next video, whatever that may be. Y'all have an awesome weekend. Have an awesome week. Y'all take care.